All right, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. We're here playing some more Gloomhaven on Friday night. So let's get into this. I think we're going to retire a character tonight, so that's exciting. And um, we're going to we're going to jump right in and get started. So I actually know we're going to retire a character because um, off camera a little earlier, I went ahead and uh, I used a little bit of cheese, and we've got him up to five of seven kills he needs with the axe that we got from the on the last stream for his retirement goal. Um, so how do you do that? Well, I just went into a mission that had something that was undead in it and just kept killing that thing and then restarted the mission, restarted the mission. When you do that, it, the game will save whatever you've done up to that point and it just counts the scenario as a fail, but you get to keep whatever progress towards retirement goals or anything else that you made and experience and all of that. So yeah, you can, you can kind of take advantage of the system there. But I did it so we could make sure we retire this guy so you don't have to agonize watching me try to have him long rest seven times so he can reuse this axe. So he's only got to get two now, so it shouldn't be a problem. So to do that, we are going to go to, let's see, I think it was, yes, the Forgotten Crypt. Now on this one we're gonna have to escort Hale, so you want to do what? That's now? fun. Well, I did agree. I could do it. It would be. It's much actually not easier. too bad. You a powerful. It's it's not too bad if if you kind of know what you're doing. You can kind of manip manipulate her movement too by uh, having your character stop in certain spots because we know that she moves too each time. Uh, let's see. Walking along the edge of a forest, you begin to hear strange, unfamiliar sounds coming from beyond the trees. You stop and listen closer. There's a rhythm to the sounds, and with that established, you begin to pick out different human voices in the mix. You'd venture to say that the noise vaguely sounds like chanting. Uh-oh. Uh, let's head into the forest, investigate the chanting, or keep moving on the road. No need to get mixed up in whatever's going on. Yeah, we're going to do that. I, I don't want to get mixed in into that. Yep, without a second thought, you get back on the main road and continue moving towards your destination. Not sure what the other choice does, but I don't. I didn't want to find out. I didn't want to find out. I don't want to start this like After her. After a turn. day's journey, you find an poison or something. Overgrown mausoleum. Okay, retirement goal or uh, battle goals. Um, calls at least four more points of damage than necessary. Yes, because with the skullbane axe, that's very easy to do on these undead creatures. Um, is there a chest? There is a chest. She needs to loot the chest during the scenario. Or seven or fewer experience. Yeah, we'll go with loot the chest. And Tinky here. Well, no one to become exhausted or have five or to more total cards. Hmm. Let's go with no one gets exhausted. Let's try it. Alright, here we go. I'm excited, guys. So we're going to retire and we're going to unlock... Uh, spoiler alert in towards the end of this when we do unlock the new character it's the Sun class so if you don't want to have that spoiler make sure you click off before we after right as we get to the end of the scenario before we retire our character have but come here, ghost um, face, otherwise the cultist says yeah it's uh it's one of my uh, favorite characters hailside. for sure for sure all right um so we're gonna start we're gonna take him out real quick with our axe so let's just use this to go real early and then uh, crushing grass would do it because the axe is going to give us plus five and then once he's done she can go with her special mixture and our single out our typical opening move for our scoundrel and on the tinkerer Hmm, let's see. If I do something versus, uh, yeah, just enhancement field. Yeah, let's have him do, we'll have him go a little later. Enhancement field, restorative mist. There we go. Okay, they're not summoning. That's good. That's good. So we saw there, Hale always goes at 99, and she always moves two on this scenario. So she's always going to move two towards the last room. So we have to try and stay ahead of her, basically. 
All right, let's get rid of this skeleton. Move here, where's the door? The door's right there. So Hale will move like right here if no one else is standing there. Get the skeleton, use the ax, I should take him out. Yep, no animation kind of delayed there. Uh, but we got him, we got him. All right, pretty standard here, move up. What are they doing anyway? Attack one, yeah, I'm not worried about that. Poison this guy. Single out. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and use the advantage. There we go. And he's gonna attack her for one. Two, but I got a shield, so no biggie. Okay. And then we got... Yep, we're gonna do our attack three here. Move up, we're gonna heal her that one point she lost. There we go, good to go. And we've slowed hail down because, yeah, we're all in our way. Perfect. Let's see, I'm gonna have, you gotta keep moving on this one because hail is not gonna wait for anybody. She's not the smartest. She's not the smartest. So, let's go with Um, I'm trying to get him in there first, but I don't want to use. Okay, here we go. We'll do that, and then I might. I have grass to use. So, what do I want to do here? The mobilizing one could be useful. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm going to have her try and finish this guy off with, uh... Probably, probably just have to use Open Wound. And then I'll have her move into the next room. Well, shoot. She's going to have to go later. Because I want, I don't want her, I want, I want Craghart in that room first. Alright, um. Uh, I don't really want to use any of the pattern attacks because we don't know what pattern the enemies are going to be in when we go in there. So, Toxic Pult's a good fallback. So let's do that. Let's use this for the movement. Toxic Bolt. Alright, there we go. Cult is going to summon. Ah, oh, crap, he's going to summon before she gets to go. Dang it. I thought the summon happened later. I thought the summon card had a lower or a later initiative than that. Hmm. I can't finish him off with. I mean, if I pull a plus two here. Maybe. If I pull a plus one here. <laughs> Come on. Nope. He will die now, though. He'll kill himself when he summons. Although, I could... You know what? Yeah, we're just doing this. There. Not letting him summon this time. Not doing that again. It's annoying. All right. Got rid of him now. Well, what the heck? I guess she's going in there after all. What do we got anyway? Some living spirits. Some skeletons. Um, attack two ain't gonna do much against these guys. What are they doing? They're attacking for three, healing for one as well, so... Yeah, she's gonna have to just... We'll just have her back up. Skip, attack. 
All right. On, on the other hand, this actually might be good because if they bought, if they stack up on the door, then I'm stacked up on the door. Hale can't get through. She's still safe. So, do I want to put him in front because he'll take these hits? It's only range two though, which means this one won't be able to hit us. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and go here. Tinker will, Tinker will take the front line so he can poison this skeleton. That's all I'm going to do, but that's okay. Now, yep, here comes this attack three. Two damage, not bad. Alright, where is... What we got now? Um, I might go with... I might do this. I'm going to use this burn. I'm going to do it right now because I can probably kill those two. So, if I use my boots with that, and then, yep, uh, that's what we're doing. We're going to take that guy out with Avalanche, and then, let's see, um, no, you, crap, um, Not sure. She's not gonna have anyone adjacent to do Take advantage on all my attacks this round if I do that. So let's do that. She's gonna go first no matter what here. Which I don't really want, but she can still get back here and attack a skeleton, so that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, it's going to be an attack three. It's not going to be the best, but we'll see what happens. And then for Tinkerer, you can probably follow her up with this heal. Yep. All right. All right, let's see. Let's go and do our move four. We're going to use our jump boots. And then we're going to get ourselves our advantage, which is awesome. By the way, advantage is always worth it. Um, they're moving forward. They're only attacking for one. So she can just stay right here. Come on. Good. There we go. There we go. Almost got him. Almost got him. Nice. Nice. All right. Use our boots. Get into position. Skip the rest of that movement. Oh, yep, let's activate the retaliate because skeletons. Yeah, at least one of them will take. Actually, this one might kill himself on Cragheart, so that's awesome. Consume the grass here, come on. There. Nice. Alright. Took care of those guys pretty easily. Okay, that guy went first, so Craghart is not going to be able to kill this guy with Retaliate. Oh well. Um, let's go ahead and give her some heals. And then all I can do is... Where's Hale moving right now? She'll be still be behind me. So yeah, I'm just going to stay here. Can't get in the room now because Skeleton's blocked my path. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Hale did not move because she does not have a path to her focus. Her focus being, I think, what is it, the altar in the last room? Yeah. So, she won't move because she can't. There's no path that she can go to get there. So, that's another way you can manipulate her movement. So, alright. That skeleton is going down with some flanking strike. Then the other skeleton can go down with some crater. Try to go earlier if I can. Alright. Um. 
Tinkerer. Doesn't have any good moves besides that one. I don't want to use any of these burns right now. So, I guess he's going really late. Alright, let's get rid of this guy. Nice. Scoundrel's awesome. Just, she's an assassin. She's just an assassin. Alright. Not going through that door by herself, though. And he hits me for nothing. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, it hits Tinker for one. Alright, well, we'll use opposing strikes now since he's adjacent to me. Got rid of him. Can't move far, but I can get started. Alright, and then Tinker's got four. Let's put him all the way. Could get him all the way to the door. Why not? Oh, well. Okay. Yeah, it only gives him one more movement. Yeah. Alright, now we got Hail moving. Which is good, because I'm pretty sure at some point, at some point, I think when you open this door, maybe, stuff starts spawning behind us. So. It's about time to take a rest. He can heal himself. Yeah. She does have to take a rest, so. We're gonna do long rests here because I want he's gotta get his axe back, Cragheart. And I need I want Hale to kinda catch up a little bit because like I said, stuff was gonna spawn behind us. And I don't want her getting waylaid by waylaid by him. We're just gonna get him closer to the door. Am I getting rid of? Yeah, that's fine. Get rid of quick hands. Come on, Hale. Catch up. But not too fast. Okay. Now we have long rest, Crack Heart, and then we're gonna go ahead and mm, I think I'm gonna short rest here. Unless, you know what? I think I can I can use net shooter in this. Yep, I can do that, and then I'm gonna have her go ahead and use smoke bomb, smoke bomb, bomb top, and then she's gonna go through the door. Okay. So now we're gonna there see no what we got. Rest among these yep, now they spawn behind us. There they are. Suffering, summoning living bones. Okay, now these guys. Shield and heal, okay, no big deal. He's gonna summon. I can't stop him. So that's just annoying, but since they're not moving, he's not moving. Might as well move her in here. Poison this guy. Okay, now. Oh, the uh, poison doesn't gonna do any good. They're gonna heal. Ah! Oh well. Okay. Now I'm gonna use this attack right here. I should be able to get a good hit on these three guys. Yep. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and use our piercing bow, advantage, and the power potion. All of it. This should be pretty good, hopefully. Yeah. I'm hoping to get both skeletons, but I got I got one of them. I got one of them. The other one's hurt pretty bad. So that's good. All right. Yeah, yeah. Someone's another friend. So do they. <clears throat> so 
the heck? Sorry, I got a little issue over here with the YouTube side of things. Weird. Okay, never mind. I guess it fixed itself. Okay, um. Do our long rest. Yeah, just get rid of everything, Claude. That's fine. This is actually going really, really well. This mission can be tough, but so far, so good. Alright, um, got the axe back, so let's go in there and take one of these guys out. But first, I want to take out this cultist before he does anything else. Let's use our jump boots. And we'll use open wound. could use Flurry of Blades, but there's no guarantee I'll actually kill him with that. But then I could hit more things, but... No, let's just, let's use that for our movement. Yeah, we'll just go super early. And then he can go ahead and... He needs his Vantage Goggles back, so he'll take a long rest. And Cragheart can go in here and we'll take care of... Well, we'll make, we can make sure I get retire, the retirement goal by taking this guy out, but then I'd have to, I can, I can just get rid of one of these guys, he's easy to take out with one hit or something, so, actually if she goes first, she takes him out, uh, opposing strikes works perfect right there, I can hit both of these guys, that's what we're going to hope for, we just need enough movement, one, two, three, four, five, Five. I'll have to go later. Or one, two, three, four takes this guy out. Yeah, rumbling advance, rumbling advance it is. And crushing grasp. Good. Well, Cultus is doing his explodey attack when he dies. That's annoying, but can't be avoided. Oh yeah, it's gonna be in the advantage too. Oh, this is crazy. This is. This is like a boss killer move right now I'm using to take this guy out with. Jump over here. We're gonna give ourselves advantage. And our attack's doubled because of smoke bomb. So double with advantage. He's gone. Yeah. No problemo. Cragheart using our boots. Go in here, do some damage. Both of them, get rid of that one. Attack this guy, use our axe. Got a minus one, so it's still not the four extra damage that we need. We'll get it, maybe. We'll see. But actually, now that I think about it, I don't know why I'm worried about that, because he's going to retire, so his perk point doesn't matter. He's gonna retire, it doesn't matter. Don't have to worry about it. Aha, we have armor. Alright, um. What are we getting rid of? Energizing tonic. I never use that one. I, I, I don't even know why I still have it in there, but I do. Okay, um. Air hail moves up, that's good, because these guys are catching up. Might have to leave Tinkerer behind to kind of slow them down. Alright, uh. We can use Flanky Strike to finish off this skeleton. And then. I don't really want to. I guess we'll just do that. I don't want to move anywhere with her. I want to keep her, uh. I need Craghart to go in that room first, so that's what he's gonna do. I'm pretty sure it's another tiny room. Yeah, it's a tiny one. If I remember right, there's a couple uh, corpses. Undead. Un what? Living living corpses, yeah. Um, let's see. I don't want to use another burn right now. 
You know what? We'll use... We'll just get to the door. Something with like a move three. Yeah. Alright, that'll work. And then, Tinkerer. Stun shot one of them. Well, maybe. We'll see. It may not work if they pull a, a move that's higher, or they pull a better initiative. Speaking of good initiative, though, so here goes a scoundrel. Let's use our advantage. Try and take the skeleton out. Yeah, good thing we use advantage because there was a miss in there. All right, she is. You know what? She'll just grab some money. So grab some money. She is a scoundrel after all. All right, and then the cultists are gonna very, very slowly chase us. And the skeletons are very, very slowly going to chase us. So that's not a concern yet. But these guys do, they do have like a move four they can pull. Which, that would be bad. Okay, now we can move up to the door. And, yep, yep, two, und oh, perfect. I forgot there were traps in here. Ah, nice. This is perfect then. Because I can use the grass to do a push. Let's go for the, the normal one. I'll be able to push him through two traps. That trap and that trap. As long as it's moving them farther away from you, you can continue to you can push them. Like that's why I can't push them here and then here because it doesn't. This is like the same distance. But I can push them through these two. Takes them out. Nice. So don't underestimate the power of pushes and pulls when there's traps. If you got traps to use, they can be really good because it's direct damage. It's awesome. Oh crap. I forgot though, I opened that door. Living spirit spawned. Jeez. Oh. Okay, um. Let's get rid of them. Let's get rid of them. I don't have any way to heal her right now. Which also means he's just going to have to step up. She'll move too, so she's going to get into this doorway. So actually, if he stays there, he should be fine to protect her. Yeah. Dang it. I got, I got ahead of myself a little bit. I forgot when you open that one, the spirits would spawn. Now I gotta get some heals on her before it's too late. Which is Tinkerer's job. Here, heal three. Heal two. And then he's just gonna. Hopefully, it's just this guy he has to take a hit from, and then we can move on. But we can use Duelist Advance here to get one, two, three. Yep, perfect. Four. Or we could use single out. Because we, yeah, we'll get the higher damage. So we'll have Cragheart move in first. And I just opposing strikes, I suppose. Alright. And now we'll. What's he doing? Attack six. Hmm. Oh well. We're going for it. Cryheart's tough. He can take it. Just don't want to be over here. He's also pushing. So he'll push me to that trap while I go over there. Let's just go right here. Attack for three. Ugh. Minus two. Darn it. Alright. Alright. Um. That's going to hurt when he hits me. What are these guys doing? Of course you're targeting all enemies within range. But it's only attack one, so... They're only moving two. They're only moving two, okay. So they're still gonna end up hitting hail, but it's only an attack of one. And I'm gonna heal her almost to full health, so... That should... Should be okay.
Yeah, and there there's some abilities that you can't use on allies like that. Like healing stuff you can, but there are some abilities later on. Uh, there's one class in particular that can like give cards to people, and you can't do that because you have to have a player character to do it to, so it won't let you do it to an ally. And five damage. And now he's not adjacent, so my original plan for her doesn't work anyway. So that sucks. Nice. He totally missed. Awesome. Yep, they're slowly chasing us still. That's okay. So yeah, since he's not adjacent, now I don't get... But, adjacent to none of their allies. <laughs> it's burn. But it works out, because this will still make this an attack 5. She's got move 3 with this top card, so I can still get there. Now hit her for 5, because this card will poison him too. There we go. That's, that's better. Come on, hail. Get out of there. Alright. Um... Yep, we just do massive boulder. She. Mm. I'm gonna long rest her. I want the long rest on her. I want this stuff back. And then. Tinkerer. Not sure what to do with Tinkerer here. I don't want to get rid of this guy, he's annoying, but... You know what? Yeah. Yep. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna use the bottom. That attack 5. Then we'll just hit something else for... I don't have advantage, though. It's fine. Okay. Come on. There we go. Nice. Got rid of the spear. That's the, the biggest problem, because skeletons typically move pretty slowly in their melee, but that guy has range, and he's always going to hit us from behind if we don't keep, if we don't get rid of him. Or we're far enough ahead when we spawn him. These guys are moving three this turn, though, which means Tinker is going to get hit. So, go ahead and hit one of them first. Not gonna worry about pulling them because no point. Crag heart. Allies and enemies will suffer that damage. Oh well. She could take it. Nice, we got him. Worth it. Totally worth it. Alright. Don't need to retaliate, but that's fine. Alright, awesome. Now it's a good time to use our potion, too. Healed up. Collect some gold, and on we go. This is the last room, right? Yeah. Um. Might be time for special mixture to go away. Yeah. Yeah, time for it to go away. Okay, now it's time for another long rest. And... You know what? Why not? These guys are getting too close anyway. Let's flamethrower them. Alright, and then for her... She can go invisible because I've got the cloak still. So I think it's, I'm going to go ahead and go for the door with Flurry of Blades. That's good. That's good. And then let's... She's the bottom backstab, I guess. Okay. Let's 
Let's get to the door. Let's see what's in here. Three corpses and two. These guys are about summoned this turn. No, that's not good. Dang it. Um, all right. Well, we're going to move. They're moving one. They're not moving. So actually, if I just move back one, one, two, three, I wouldn't be able to hit the other guy. So she'll stay there. She'll go invisible. One, so one, two, three, and three. She can hit all the all the corpses. Yeah. So we'll just stop there. We're gonna go invisible, and then we're gonna attack all three of these guys. Use our advantage and go for it. See if we can weaken him. All we really have to do in this last room, though, is make a path for Hale to get to the altar. So, you know, these guys don't all have to die. They just got to get out of the way. So that's... It's not it's not terrible. All right, let's flamethrower these guys. Just because. Because we'll wound them. Now they'll slowly die on their own as we run away. Well, they'll still catch up and hit me one more time, but that's okay. Oh, more of them spawn here. Daggone it. Okay, well. Shoot. He's got to protect Hale. The only way to do it. When do they go? They go right. They go next. The only way to do it is to get right here. Because then they won't move. Because they're going to target two. So, if I was one space away from her, they'd go, like, here and then hit us both, so... Or if I was adjacent to her. So I'm gonna have to go here so they won't move. Because they'll only attack me. Did not intend on leaving Dinkler behind like that, but... It happened. It's been working out so far. There, just took three damage. Two damage. He's okay. He's fine. He's got lots of gadgets. He'll be fine. The skeletons are starting to move a little faster now. This is annoying, though, because they summon more guys in the way to getting to the altar. Hale has to get adjacent to the altar. So I have to make a path for her, and then... Come on. These guys aren't going to do anything, because they can't move, because there's no path, because... Invisible characters are considered obstacles in Gloomhaven. They changed that in Frosthaven, though. Can't can't uh, take advantage of that anymore, but in Gloomhaven, you still can. So, you can block doorways with an invisible character. Um, that's, yeah, let's get rid of backup ammunition this time. That's fine. And finally... Okay, let's get Craghart in there to do some damage. I don't have grass, so let's do something to get grass going. Two, three, four. You know what? Uh, massive Boulder would probably work well here. And then, yeah, something with Retaliate. That'll work. So then... Hmm... Duelist advance, perhaps. Yeah, we're gonna do like a hit and run here. Cause I can't I can't go late enough to go after Craghart anymore. Alright, and then he is going to probably he's gonna have to short rest so he can move faster. <clears throat> There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Move four. And then... Probably try to heal himself. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Cultists are summoning again. Ugh. I need to go kill the cultist. 
So that's, you know what, that's what's happening. Oh, and she needs to get the chest anyway, so there we go. Perfect. She'll go back there, she'll grab the chest. We'll take this guy out, maybe, hopefully. No, but he's, he's hurt. Use our stamina potion, let's get back. Flurry of blades. Hey, 20 gold. Nice. And she gets her little check mark for loot in the chest. And we're just going to heal ourselves here with Tinkerer and then run away. Now, Cragheart. These are boots. What are these guys doing? Attack for four, move one. That's okay. We're going to retaliate for one as well. And then let's just hit this guy and we'll do damage to everyone around him. Oh yeah, I got the axe back too. I can use the axe in this elite on the next turn. Take him out. But dang, I got to get stupid summoning. At least that one killed himself doing it. But it's blocking off the altar. Well, Hale's got one spot she can get to now. Here, one retaliate damage. How dare you smack me. My beautiful rocky face. Alright. Gotta wait on everybody else take their turns. That skeleton dies from his wound. I don't know how you wound a skeleton, but you can do it. They start leaking bone dust, I guess. Oh my gosh. Tinker is holding the line back there, but just barely. She is not doing great. Because she's still got another skeleton to attack her. No damage, you take one damage, you're gonna hit me again. No damage, you're gonna take one damage. Ha! Stupid skeleton. Oh no, she didn't. Oh sweet, that was the one that got summoned. Nice. Okay. She's still alive, she's still good. Flurry of blades, flanking strike. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna keep her alive. I got grass now, so we're doing this. We're doing unstable upheaval top. We're gonna do rumble. Rumbling advanced bottom. Is this considered a ranged attack? Or it might it might let me use my axe with this one, I'm not sure. We're gonna find out. And then him, let's see. Heal or just probably enhance with Phil to try and hit something and try to run away. Actually. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's Hopefully he goes before skeletons, but... Hey, he does. Good. No! Stop summoning! Oh my gosh. Alright. The zombies aren't attacking, at least. They're just muddling, but... They'll go after, so... Okay, it's fine. Alright. How do I want to do this? Well, let's use our potion first. Give ourselves some health back, so we don't die. Hopefully. And I might as well, yeah, we'll just do, we'll just do the Fury of Blades. We'll hit that guy and that guy because we can probably kill him. This one's disadvantaged, so let's go after the Elite. Go for it. There. Got rid of the last cultists in this room, so that's good. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Can't go anywhere, so we're just going to have to take our hits there. All right, now we can move in here. We can do some more damage. Suffer damage, nice. And then I will let me use my axe. But not if I use grass, because that turns it into... I don't know, that's weird. Let's... Yeah, 
Yeah, it won't let you use the axe if you activate the grass to add. And I guess it's because it's thinking that this is a ranged attack now, but it's technically not. Because if it was, I would have disadvantage on the guys adjacent to me, and I don't. So this is a weird little... I don't know if this is how the rules were intended. Like, if I was playing the board game right now, I'd probably say, yeah, it's fine, you can use the axle on one that's adjacent to you. But, I, I don't know. But anyway, I don't have to use the axe again, and it still gives enough to kill this guy, hopefully. And I can hit more guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the grass and do it that way. Nice. Oh my gosh. I almost wiped the room. <laughs> nice. Good job, Craghart. Oh no, you're going to muddle me. Not a big deal at this point. And he can move into the room finally. And we'll finish this guy off. That turned around very quickly. It's another great thing about Gloomhaven is it can look like terrible, horrible, like everything's going to fall apart, and then all of a sudden just one or two moves and boom, like the tables have completely turned. It's awesome. Oh no. Okay. I thought I, I thought I, like, she took too much damage, she was going to die, and I thought I told her, I, I thought I told the game just like, yeah, just let her die, instead of just, instead of burning a card. Ugh, okay, we're good, we're good. Hale is one turn away. We'll win this on the next turn. So she's got her chest, he... Did I kill any elites with him? I keep forgetting his retirement thing is kill elites, and I don't know if I'm doing that or not. I don't think I'm not, I don't think I have. Um... Crushing grass on one of these skeletons. Uh, let's see. Hook gun from this contraption. Take a short rest at this point. And we can use this. Now they're not adjacent to any of their friends. And... <laughs> awesome. Okay. This is going to combo really well. Because I think she still has single out active. Yes. This it, it adds additional plus two if they're not adjacent to any of their allies. And then this adds three and then plus two if they're not adjacent to allies. So it's attack eight. And we pulled a miss. Of course. Uh, oh well. It's about to be over anyway. Scoundrel's tired, you know? She's, she, she did real good. She, she did real good getting us here and she's just tired. Skeletons are going. That is the one bad thing. You know, when you get a lot of enemies on the board, it takes a while for them all to do their thing. It can be kind of kind of annoying, but it, it's not too bad. It doesn't take too long. And if you have on on PC, it's uh, I forget which key it is, but there's you can speed up the animations, which I have it sped up. So that's not so bad, but it actually is a lot slower if you don't have that going on. So I highly recommend always speeding up the, uh, the animations. Yes, that word. Okay. Um, just hit something and done. Awesome. That went relatively smoothly. Of all the times I've played it, that was probably the smoothest I've ever gotten through that mission. And we got everybody there at perk points. So, awesome. Okay, here it comes, guys. Here's the retirement is coming. So, if you don't want to see the other class, look away now, because here it comes. Sun class. Plus one prosperity, some experience points. Ruinous Rift unlocked. And we also get Scoundrel halfway to her retirement goal because someone else has retired. Alright. One last chance to turn away if you don't want to see the, the Sun class. But for everyone else, here we go. One of my favorites. 
once we get past this. Here it comes. The Sunkeeper. Sunkeeper is. You have heard of a town records building in the corner. Oh, we unlocked the town records because we are first character retired. records with an idea. Which is it's a narrative basically, kind of gives you the history of the world and lore, and also unlocks different missions and stuff for you. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, but we're gonna go to the Sunkeeper now, Sun Class, because we unlocked it, and we're gonna take a look at it. Sunkeeper is, in my opinion, the best tank in the game. She has the best cards to just simply tank. She can do some really good single target damage, but her main thing is she is a heavy tank. Um, you can also play her as a support character with a lot more heals and blesses and other buffs and stuff, but I've always used her as a tank and kind of a striker single target damage dealer but um yeah she also has like a hand size of 11 cards which is nice makes her tankier as well and she uses light to give herself advantage a lot so it's really fun to play this class once you get higher levels at higher levels you get the thing where you can activate sun and get advantage on your attacks the first level or two is a little can be a little rough but level three four you start getting some of those better cards um, what shall we, we shall call her Sunny, because I am super original in my naming. Alright, now we can complete two scenarios in the swamp, and then we gotta follow something to conclusion after that, or kill vermlings and scouts and shamans. For the lightning bolt class, yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. All right. Sunny has joined the party. And she gets to start at level two. So we're going to... I'm not going to pick her cards this time. I'll probably do this off camera before the next stream. But we'll go ahead and level up and pick our level up card. There's the one I normally take. And so practical plans is just an attack five on the top and a move five on the bottom. Basic, easy, but... Really powerful for a level two card. Just, just attack five. That's really good. Move five. That's really good too. Um, unwavering mandate. So this is kind of the hey, you want to go to a support role type card because an adjacent ally can immediately perform an extra turn. So you can give an ally two turns in a round, which could be really powerful depending on the ally. Um, and then the bottom's a heal three, range two. But if we have light, it can target two. So a heal three on two, that's pretty good. But like I said, we're not going, we already have a healer in the party with Tinker right now. So we're definitely going practical plans here for the damage and movement. Cause one thing that Sunkeeper will kind of, eh, you can struggle with movement, but you also have good movement cards. Just, it's all about how you build up your hand. And then we get to pick a perk for, cause we retired a character every, slot so like this is player one essentially even if you're just playing by yourself and then two three four so the one slot has retired a character so every character the next character will get one perk to start with automatically and then we get one perk from the level up but if we were to start at like level f like let's say we'd retired three characters we'd get to start with three perks plus perks from whatever level ups we do immediately so the longer you play the game more powerful your characters start out with levels and perks and everything else. So you really get that, like you, you earn that powerful build at the end game and you can just build an unstoppable team by the end of it. It's pretty awesome. Although the final boss of the game is still pretty difficult, even when you have all that. But um, let's see, we're going to definitely go down to Ignore negative item effects and add two plus one cards. So that's nice. And then we're going to ignore negative scenario effects. So that's another thing about Sunkeeper. She's immune to everything. 
uh, as far as scenario effects and then negative item effects. So that's that's really nice too. Plus we can get rid of our negative two, um, and we can get we'll still have negative ones, but but yeah, this will be fun. This will be fun. Let's see her play in the next time. Uh, but we all oh, let's give her some items. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Let's give her some items like, let's see, uh, armor, it's definitely armor. Do we have anything better than, nope, we still only have hide armor unlocked, so, so she gets some hide armor. And then let's give her a shield. I always like to put the shield in slot number two for the hand because I feel like that's the left hand. But that's just because I'm right hand dominant. You know? It's like her shield hand on the left. I don't know. Unless you're, uh, you know, Link from, Zel from uh, Link to the Past, then you're left handed. You wear a shield on the right. Yeah. Anyway. Um, okay, so what's she got left? She got 19 gold left. Uh, what do we got in the head items? No. Oh, leg items. Cool, perfect. I always like, you know, I like boots of striding. Any movement, giving boots, oh, pretty much any character, I like to have, um, because they come in handy. Even a character with high movement, having move six, but then adding two more to get move eight is pretty awesome. So, we're we're gonna go with the boots of striding for. Her. And there, she's down to one gold. All right. Oh, there we go. All right. So awesome. Hey, we uh, got hail through that and then unlocked our sun keeper. So that's awesome. And I am going to try and move into this, uh, this stream to go for the quickest path through the game, which I haven't been doing up to this point, but we're going to start very specifically picking our scenarios to get the quickest point to the final boss and see if we can uh, get there relatively soon because it is September 8th, so the console release is gonna happen in 10 days. And when that does, I wanna continue streaming Gloomhaven, but probably gonna switch over to the Switch version so that everyone can you know, see that version actually being played and how well it performs and such. So, um, and when I do that, I think I'll start with the Jaws of the Lion DLC campaign, because I think that'll be fun to do. So, We'll probably have that going and might have this going at the same time. Maybe I'll just do them back to back on Friday nights or something, but we'll see. But hey, thanks everyone for stopping by, for watching tonight. I enjoyed it. I had a good time. Don't forget to, uh, you know, leave a message in the chat when you are got any questions to talk about, Gloomhaven, whatever you want. And, uh, but hey, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.